Oh, while the storm batters Florida's Gulf Coast, News for Jack reporter Vic McCallucci is in Bradenton right now. And Vic, I know you were in Tampa early this morning, St. Pete in particular, and you've been making your way down the coast. Describe to us, if you will, what you've seen so far. Jen and Bruce, as we took the highway I-75 down here, we could just feel those conditions getting worse. The rain just growing minute by minute, and those wind gusts are getting stronger. Uh, you know, Richard was talking about the gusts here. I was able to get about 35, 40 miles an hour on gusts. We're looking at about 30 miles an hour sustained here at Bradenton. Uh, as we drove down here, it was, it was very interesting, a bizarre and eerie phenomenon where we actually did see part of Tampa Bay dried out. And that's because of the tides and because of the hurricane actually sucking that water out of the bay. So think of storm surge. That was the opposite of it because of the power of that storm out there in the Gulf. Now, we are in an area where we're using some buildings to keep that wind from really hitting us and wearing us out. Uh, but certainly it, it's an interesting perspective to see as minute by minute things get worse and worse. Uh, we're actually at a gas station. It is completely out of gas. It is shut down. In fact, we have not seen a gas station, a restaurant or a business open for about 30 miles from where we are standing. Uh, some people are stopping here. They don't know the forecast. They're asking if everything's gonna be okay. They're already asking when the rain and the storm is gonna go away. And we're just telling them to go north to get out of here. Uh, I also checked with Northport, Northport Police. That's right where the eyewall is supposed to go. And a couple minutes ago, they shut down emergency services. So that's a mandatory evacuation zone and from now on, until that hurricane passes, they say they're not going to be responding to the 911 calls in these areas. They're not going to be sending out police and fire. So that certainly shows why it is so dangerous. Chris, uh, I'm working with photojournalist Chris O'Rourke, who's doing an incredible job out here. I want you to zoom in over there just to show you some of the wind and the rain on the trees. Nothing that we haven't seen before. Uh, right now, it feels like a tropical storm, a, a low tropical storm. But we know in the coming hours, things are going to get significantly worse, uh, you know, a lot more aggressive and a lot more dangerous. So certainly that's what police and firefighters down in southwest Florida, where I am, are urging people. They're saying be very careful because this is still relatively mild. And in the next couple of hours into the evening, it could get really ugly. For now, we are live in Bradenton. I'm Vic Nicolucci, Channel 4 the local station.